Hello everybody, in this video we'll see how to export codes uh, with RQDA. So, actually I will just open RQDA and then open, uh, let's say, a nice project with a lot of codes. Just click OK and this is, um, yeah, this one. As you can see, I've got a lot of codes here. If I click two times on it, I can see that I have a lot of codes. Uh, just by the way, I just want to show you a small techniques before to, to ex explain you how to export codes. If you have many windows, you do not need to close it at the same time if you want to close everything. You just go here and you click on close all codings. So click here and everything closes at the same time. So this is just a nice small trick. Okay, so now actually we've got lo a lot of codes. So for instance, if I click two times on statistic, I've got these codes. But actually the fact is for some reason, I may want to print it on a, on a printer or to print it uh, on a virtual uh, PDF printer, whatever. I do not have anything to print it if I right click I do not have anything to print if I do control P like control print is not working. So how may I print some codes? And this is how we will do. We will use the export HTML function. So to export a code, you will just do like this. You will right click and then you choose export coding as HTML. And then you click here. And he's asking you where you want to save the, <coughs> the folder. So you just go here on this, on any path. Actually, you can go on, on any path you want. So I will just save it uh, on this path, but you can save it on your desktop, actually, where you want. And I will just write it uh, first uh, export test. And I will click on OK. And after I've got a, uh, I've, I have a window telling me which codes I want to export. So if I just want to export one code, I will just click on here and after here. So in my example, I wanted to export the statistics one. So actually I just go on statistic and click OK. But if I want to export many codes, I can press the control, the control key of the keyboard and then just choosing with my mouse which one I want to export. And if I press Ctrl A, that's what I will do in this example. If I do Ctrl and then A and click on OK, I will export everything. So that's what I want to do. And I will click OK. And now on the same folder here, Metin Desktop RQDI Test, you can see that the folder has been exported. So I will just uh, open it on uh, my browser. And as you can see, I've got all the exportation of all my folders. And it's very good working, as you can see, because first I've got all the codes. So I've got like a table of contents of codes. If I want to see which code belongs to education, I just click on education and then I ha I'm in the menu of the education, of the code, coding of education. And I even see that I've got education from two files. So interview number one and interview number 14, we're talking about education. And if I want to go back, I just click on back. So we can do the same with all the, the codes. And just here, uh, this, if you click here, just to, to tell you, it will bring you to the to the to the website of RQDA, and you've got the creation date and so on and so on. So this is very nice because you've got a HTML file. So to print it, usually you just need to go to your browser and just do it like uh, print. Uh, you can go to print preview. And then you can even, uh, depending on your browser, but you can even change some stuff. Uh, you can go to the page setups. 
uh, let's put it portrait. Yes, and then you, you, you then you can just print it. So this is very nice. And actually, what is very nice too is that this is a HTML file. So as you can see here, this is just a HTML file. So what we may uh, want to do is just to put it on a website. So if you've got a server, you just can put it on a website. Or even if, for instance, you have a Google Sync or Dropbox and want to share it with a lot of people, just go on your Dropbox. So this is my Dropbox. Just go on the public <coughs> settings. I will just create a file. I will create it new RQDA. And I will just copy this file here. OK, I've got a copy. And yeah, this is if you have Dropbox for sure. And if you have Dropbox, you make right click, Dropbox, copy the public link. And then you will paste the public link here. And you see, you have an address and you can give it to anyone or put it on a website. Or you can you can you, you can do ev everything what you want. So this is a good exportation because you can print it at the same time, and you can also uh, share it on the on the web. So you can you, you can just put it on a server, and you've got your own HTML address to 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 spread it to the world. So this is quite a nice uh, feature. Uh, for sure, if you still wish. You can just export a code. Uh, let's just put salary code. You can just you can just copy it if you if you wish. This is also working. You can just do it like this. You can copy and you can paste it in Microsoft Word, Microsoft Office, and so on and so on. So I hope that I covered the, the section uh, exporting codes in order to to export it, to print it, and so on. And by the way, if you go to files. I let you try later, but if you if you go to here to any files, you can just export it on the same way. So you can export codes, which is very useful, and files, which could be useful a little bit, little bit less in my opinion, but why not? So I'll just let you try on your own. Uh, I've told everything about the export function, so thanks a lot for watching this video, and we'll see us on the next one.